Welcome to 5 Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will continue our introduction to dative prepositions. We'll pick up where we left off in the last presentation and examine the prepositions mit through zu. In an earlier presentation, we saw that dative prepositional phrases consist of a dative preposition and the object of that preposition. Here, the object of aus is the noun phrase dem Wald, with the definite article dem indicating the dative case. We also learned that there is no reason why these prepositions take a dative object. They simply have to be memorized. The dative prepositions we will discuss in this presentation include mit, meaning with or by, nach, meaning going to, toward, after, or according to, seit, meaning for how long or since, von, meaning from or of, and zu, meaning to. The preposition mit is similar to the English preposition with. For example, ich arbeite mit einem Freund. I am working with a friend. Here there is no definite article in the noun phrase, but the dative case is indicated by the strong adjective ending em. In this and all following slides, I will indicate both the dative preposition and the object of this preposition, both of which make the dative prepositional phrase. The preposition can also be used to describe the mode of transportation, as in, ich fahre mit dem Bus, I am traveling by bus. The preposition nach can have several meanings. When used with geographical locations such as cities and countries, it can mean going to or traveling to. For example, ich fahre nach Berlin. I am traveling to Berlin. When talking about locations within a city or people, however, you need to use the preposition zu, which we will look at shortly. The exception to this rule, however, is when referring to your own home as a destination. In this instance, you need to use nach. For example, ich fahre nach Hause. I am going home. Nach can also be used to describe activity that comes after a specific point in time, such as, wir gehen nach dem Film ins Café. We are going to the café after the film. The preposition can also be used to describe how something comes after something else in a physical sense. Die Kirche kommt nach der Straße. The church comes after the street. Nach also means according to, as in, meinem Freund nach ist das ein guter Film. That's a good film, according to my friend. You will note that when the preposition is used in this manner, it is placed after the object. The preposition seit indicates a duration of time, as in, ich wohne seit zwei Monaten in Berlin. I have been living in Berlin for two months. You will note that seit has a different meaning than ab, which we have examined in an earlier presentation. The preposition ab indicates a point in time at which an activity starts whereas Zeit indicates how long an activity has been occurring. Zeit can also be used to express the idea of when an activity was started and how long it has been going on. For example, sie arbeitet seit Montag an dem Projekt. She's been working on the project since Monday. The preposition von can be used to describe the act of arriving from a certain location or person, such as ich komme von meiner Schwester, I'm coming from my sister, or a bit more loosely, I've come from visiting my sister. Von can also be used to express a relationship of belonging between two nouns. For example, die Hochzeit von meiner Schwester, the wedding of my sister or my sister's wedding. This construction with the dative preposition von is often used as a substitute for the genitive case, which we will examine in a later presentation. The preposition zu is used to describe motion toward locations, people, and events. For example, ich gehe zum Arzt, I'm going to the doctor. Note that zum is the contraction of the preposition zu and the definite article dem. Zu is also used colloquially in ich bin zu Hause, I am at home. Finally, it is tempting for speakers of German to use zu to mark the indirect object of a sentence, as you see here. Ich gebe das Buch zu meiner Mutter, I give the book to my mother. You must never do this. Instead, use of the dative case by itself is enough to mark the indirect object. Ich gebe meiner Mutter das Buch. I give the book to my mother. 
When using direct and indirect objects together in a sentence, it is important to maintain the correct order. We discussed this order in an earlier presentation. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.